Anthony Burgess authored the well-known book, A Clockwork Orange. First printed in 1962. The distinctive language and grim subjects of this work are well known. The narrative moves in a bleak future. Violence is really typical in this planet. The story's protagonist is a teenage lad called Alex. Leading a gang is Alex. They participate in several illegal activities. Among these actions include assault, robbery, and other violent ones. Though highly clever, Alex is also quite nasty. He likes making others miserable. The narrative opens from Alex's point of view. This helps the reader to perceive the world as he does. The book employs the language known as NADSAT. NADSAT features Russian mixed with English. Burgess developed this language to further immersiveness of the narrative. The language can be first challenging to grasp. Still, it gets simpler as you read more. Three sections define the book. In the first section, Alex and his buddies carry out different crimes. They have no regret about their behavior. One evening they break into a woman's residence. Alex murders the woman inadvertently during the robbery. He is apprehended by the cops. Alex is in prison in the second part. He hears about a new treatment while incarcerated. We name this approach the Ludovico Technique. Its goal is to eradicate violent conduct from individuals. Alex offers himself for the therapy. He expects it will release him from jail early. The treatment is medication injection along with viewing violent movies. These medications cause Alex great nausea. Soon he finds he cannot consider violence without feeling nauseous. Though negative effects follow with the successful treatment. Alex's capacity for decision-making disappears. Attack on him renders him unable of defending himself. His free will has been snatched away. Alex's release from prison marks the third section. The world has changed, he notes. Former gang members of his have started working as police agents. They beat him till he was useless. Alex's folks hired a lodger. Over Alex's room and family space, this lodger has seized control. Feeling alone and helpless, Alex attempts suicide. Though he leaps out of a window, he survives. The benefits of the treatment start to fade in the hospital. Alex starts to acquire his free will. Alex starts to consider his future by the book's conclusion. He starts fantasizing of starting a family and leading a regular life. Alex's character changes with this. He begins to stray from bloodshed. Still, the ending begs many unresolved issues. The book investigates significant ideas. Free will is one among these ideas. Burgess demonstrates how different it is to mandate someone to be good from being good by choice. One loses their humanity without capacity for choice. Another issue is how society shapes people. Alex comes from his surroundings. There is plenty of corruption and bloodshed all around him. This shapes his actions and views. The book also looks on language usage. The plot depends much on NADSAT. It puts the reader further apart from the bloodshed. It also pulls the reader into Alex's life concurrently. The book begs moral, psychological, and control issues as well as regarding the essence of evil. A Clockwork Orange reads difficultly. Its material and language can cause disturbance. Still, it's a strong and provocative narrative as well. In contemporary fiction, it is now a classic. The book has evolved over years into several formats. The most well-known adaption is Stanley Kubrick's 1971 picture. The movie sticks to the ideas of the book and is aesthetically arresting. But given its graphic content, it also generated debate. Popular culture in various facets shows the impact of the book. It has motivated art, music, even clothing. Many individuals keep researching and debating the ideas of the book. All Things Considered, A Clockwork Orange, investigates difficult concepts. It asks the reader to consider society, morality, and free will in their whole. 
It is nevertheless a major piece of literature notwithstanding its challenging language. Anthony Burgess wrote a narrative with great frightening and fascinating power. For those who read it, this book stays with them.